This is Mitzi of Love Children Restored. How you doing today? I hope you are doing well. I hope you are doing well. I just thought I'd come on really quick. I won't be on here long. I was just going to show a little something I'm going to be working on. And um, I want to say hi to all my new subscribers. And thank you so much for all of my new subscribers. Yay, I made it over 700. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, so, so, so much. And thank you just for all of my subscribers, not even just the new one, those that's been rocking with me for, you know, gosh, how many months? And I know, you know, the subjects that I do isn't as easy. So I thank you for listening in because a lot are really just, you know, we're basket people, but we're all human too. And, you know, um, what we know is uh, abuse runs in almost uh, a little bit. Of everyone knows someone who has been abused or was abused or in any capacity. So I know that subject is something that's always very heavy to talk about. So the basket does lift the load, um, make it a little bit easier. Um, but I do want to start off by thanking my new subscribers. I wrote down the names and of course, the first one I'm going to say is Ghana Africa Bound. Um, she said, hey, I didn't see my name, but I did one time because I was trying to figure out if your name is pronounced Fatima or, or Fatima. Because I went to school with a uh, Fatima. And when I used to say Fatima, she used to correct me. So I don't know if you pronounce yours Fatima or Fatima. But anyway, welcome, 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 welcome. And I want to welcome Tynita D. I want to welcome Joe, no, Ice Princess. I want to welcome Reva W. I want to welcome Sarah B. I want to welcome Royalty Dela 04. I want to welcome Tracy R. Welcome, Tracy. I want to welcome Olympia G. Welcome, Olympia. I want to welcome Sandy R. I want to welcome Mia J. I have a niece named Mia. <laughs> Mia J. I want to welcome Robin E. I want to welcome Shauna R. And I definitely want to welcome Elisa C. Hi, Lisa. From what I understand, Lisa, you're from Dorchester. I'm from Dorchester. So, I, uh, you know, a Boston girl. Hey, Lisa. So welcome. I want to welcome all of you guys. Um, those, you know, if I don't have your name, I just have the user ID numbers. Whoever you are, my faithful subscribers, just welcome, guys. Thank you so much for joining Love Children Restored. And I want to thank you for all of um, your well wishes on the little treat bags. I got them all up here. I, you know, was putting ribbons on. I went and I bought some, um, I bought some burgundy ribbon. I still got to finish these. And I bought some purple ribbon. Um, I got the ribbon at, at Walmart. Um, I don't know what's going on with my Dollar Tree where I live. Um, I have a lot of Dollar Trees around me, but I have one like literally right near me in that Dollar Tree. They never have supplies in there. They never have supplies. It's always, I don't know. Um, they it, tell you a funny story. Um, one aisle, um, I went down, you know, the aisle that has like all of the um, nail stuff. It may have hand soap in it, uh, bar soap in it. In that aisle, I remember one time I went down that aisle and I see it was nothing there. It was, it was like bare. So I happened to see a guy coming out of their, um, out of their stock room. And I said, oh, excuse me. I was like, what happened? You guys didn't get supplies in? You know, what's going on? He was like, oh, that aisle, the person that stocks that aisle is out today. They called out sick today. So that's why that aisle don't have anything. I'm only responsible for this aisle. He pointed to the next aisle over. I'm like, what? I'm like, what? I'm like, so, it, you know, someone called out sick, you don't stock it? 
But yeah, that's what we're dealing with in Idolatry. tree. So, and it's like the aisles are like that. They are. The, the aisles are um, the employees have responsibility over certain aisles. And if no one's there, it's just, there's nothing there. <laughs> it's like, or well, sometimes you just see boxes. Uh, the other day I wanted some Swedish fish. Yeah, I love Swedish fish. Um, and I can see that in the candy aisle, it was boxes that hadn't been stocked. And I was reading the boxes and I was like, ooh, Swedish fish. So I opened a box and took me out a box of Swedish fish. But yeah, so that's kind of what I deal with. So I went to Dollar Tree. They didn't even have ribbon. I went to Dollar uh, Walmart and I bought ribbon. I have bought um, this purple one. That's what I have on these bags. And then some of them have this one on. And then I have the burgundy ones I put on these ones so i just have these here left and then i have to find something to put on like the gold ones back here but yeah it's like i don't know so i went to walmart i got those at walmart i got these i'm trying to get ready for do you guys decorate for like christmas i'm getting i bought these aren't these pretty i'm, I'm gonna take the i'm gonna take the pink ones out it has pink in it but, I have, you know, some bases to do. I don't do, like, all... Uh, I love to decorate. But I don't do the, you know, the whole house for fall. And the whole house for Easter. And the whole house for Valentine's Day. Mm -mm. I'm just like a Christmas girl. I'll decorate for Christmas. It's not even a lot of heavy stuff. And it re really is just uh, the living room, kitchen, the bathroom. And I put a little bit in our room but the other two bedrooms like my office and my husband's office no i don't do anything there but i thought these were really pretty i got these at walmart they were like six dollars a bunch um when i got the ribbon i grabbed these i thought these was really pretty to put in some bases but yeah and i got some more stuff uh to decorate uh to bring more red in for christmas all of my, the bathroom, I used to decorate my bathroom with, um, it was a, a, a snowman and all the Christmas design. I sent all my Christmas decorations to my grandkids in Chicago for them to do their bath. Because it was real, really kitty and they used to love to see when I do it. And I, um, I'll send them pictures and videos and they just loved looking at the stuff. So... Uh, last year was the year that that was the last year I packed everything up and sent to them. So I'm just putting basic Christmas stuff in for adults. I don't need the snowman and all that and uh, Santa Claus, all that this year. But what I was going to do is, um, what else did I, oh, I wrapped my baskets. I wrapped, as you can see, I didn't only had the plastic from Dollar Tree. And then they only, um. Uh, I had a couple of them so I wrapped this is the pink and gray one so I wrapped the pink and gray I wrapped the purple basket I wrapped the purple one so this is the purple and these I'm, I'm moving down to the living room because I I'm already stacking stuff down there in the section for next week and then I wrapped um ooh, I wrapped the caddy and this thing just won't stay. This is what I don't like about not having the uh, the cellophane. So I need to buy some more. So I wrap those. Um, and then I'm going to do some. Um, I'm going to do some bags for little, little girls. So I got these. I got these at. Um some bubbles i got these bubbles at the grocery store they were like these were 55 cents each so i grabbed these these this is all they had i grabbed these two and then i found these in there these were 80 cents each um, at stop and shop here in boston so i grabbed these so what i'm gonna do is put like in a bag um i went in and i bought some of these 
they did have these in Dollar Tree, so I bought some of the um, green bubble baths, the pink ones, and the yellow. And what I did is I put labels over here because the price was embedded on here. So I had this sticker. It's a scripture, but it's okay. Um, so I have that and that. This one didn't have one embedded on it. No, I didn't see one embedded on this one. So what I'm going to do is give each, you know, a bubble bath, the green bubbles, you know, to match the color. And then I'm going to put in, um, I bought some socks from Dollar Tree. I bought some of these. So I'm going to pull these out. And, um, of course, the pink, you know, with the pink and the green with the green. Um, I should have grabbed some of the purple bubble bath because they have the purple here and the blue. And then I found some more of these. So I bought some more of these. So I can put, so it'll be these a bubble bath uh a bubbles in a bubble bath and a socks in the back so that's the next thing that i'm working on for the little girls but i don't think i can use the little small bags because i think um the bubble baths like for the bubbles in the socks and the the hand cream thing that would be good in the little bags but um i don't think i'm gonna have to use the purple bags for these because these are way these would be way too small it'll be cute for the socks and the thing i think i don't i don't even know if this box will fit in there if anything i would have to open it i think yeah i would have to open it and take it out um and definitely, yeah, this, I can look at this and see it's not going to work. But I can use my purple bags for these. Um, let me see. Let's just take a little look. So how you guys been today? Today's been a dreary wet day. It don't seem like it wanted to rain or it wanted to be sunny. I know where my daughter is in Chicago, it's so hot. Is really really hot there. Let me see. let me get a wipe first. Let me wipe it down because I didn't wipe these down yet. So yeah, that's all I've been up to. Um, getting ready for next week. I did all of my updates on Facebook. Uh, I updated my website. Um, to call it Instagram, you know, to get everything. Okay, let me see if I do that. Scissors. And I don't know what the well, I guess the difference is these have three in it. That's why these were 55 cents. And the other one has six in it, because you get two of each color. So these were 80 cents. They were marked down. I don't know if you notice the grocery stores got all the summer stuff uh, marked down. Um, so yeah. So I said I'll put a green one in here. A green one in here. And then with the, the socks. With the green socks. So yeah, this this here would fit in better. And you know, we separate these. We spread it across. Um, we spread it across and make it enough for all. I know the, the organizer asked if I wanted to set up this Friday. He's like, um... You want to come this Friday and next Friday? I said, no. I said, I'll just leave it for... This has a little snag on it. I said, no, I'll just leave it for... Um, could you see it? I'll just leave it for next Friday. He's like, oh, I was just wondering if you wanted to chew. No, sir. Um, so then we'll do this. This is cute. And then the green sock. Maybe I'll roll it up. 
I have all these little things on. My husband just went to get us steak and cheese subs. No one feels like cooking tonight. Well, I don't like to cook anyway, so. <laughs> but yeah. And so he went to anyone in the area. We feel that Giorgio's have the best. Have the best um, steak and cheese subs. See? So this is what it'll be. It'll be the um, the bubble bath, the bubbles in the socks, and then the um, hand cream and the lip balm would be a set. And I even had, they're not going to get both socks. They're either going to get the, the white with the green. Let me see how I can do it with the white with the green. They're either going to get the white with the green or the gray with the green. You know, one pair of socks for each one. Maybe I can put like a little ribbon or something around this. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe that'll be cute. Let me see how that. Yeah. And so then I'll just have the green. Do a pink. Do a, a green, a pink, a blue. And I think I can do a purple one too. I think I can do a purple one too because I have purple bubble bath around here somewhere so that's what I wanted to show that's the next um the next little thing be working on for the little girls you know sometimes when the little ones come and um that'd be cute too I love getting these socks do you guys separate them when you buy them or do you give the whole pack I always separate them when I buy them. Even if I was doing it for the bigger girls, I always, if I was doing like, a, like, oh, this would have been cute in the pink and gray basket. That would have been cute. That's already wrapped. <laughs> but that would have been cute um, in that basket. Yeah, I always separate them. I never um, give the whole pack. And I actually look for things in multiple so I can separate it. So that's what this one here would be. The one for the pink. And then the pink and the um, thing. So that's what I just wanted to show. I just wanted to come on and um, two things. I wanted to definitely thank you guys for all of your uh, well wishes and likes and stuff for the um, the little treat bags, you see I'm already, I already got them boxed up. I didn't have any more room to squeeze these in. I, I just need to work one, two, three, I just have four more ribbons to put on. And then that's all set. And I'll have these bags all set. And there we go. And of course, the next other thing is I always save the folders. I have them down here. My folders for, um, that's usually the last thing I do is get all my documents together for each folder enough to go in the 15 folders that go with the bags and then, um, enough for the table to put on the table for people to just keep coming, taking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for all that you're doing. Thank you. Love watching what everyone's doing, how they're all moving and shaking, getting great ideas, of course. So thank you and, and hope you have a blessed night, a blessed day. Whenever you're watching this, bye-bye.